it's insane. I've actually never been to a Comic-Con before in my life and I'm also a little bit jet lagged so it's a bit, whoa, <laughs> a little bit loopy. And of course, I mean, you're part of one of the biggest film franchises on the planet. How does it feel to be part of that? Can you tell us how you got cast, got involved? Uh, well, I was like a massive fan of the books before any of this happened and I think it was kind of a good thing that I didn't quite realize how big it was. I sort of just focused on the character and when I read the books I remember falling in love with Annie so much, just feeling so connected to it. And then um, it sort of was one of those audition experiences where everything just fell into place. It was almost like, I don't know, it was kind of meant to be or something. How do you approach acting your role, having read the books and seen, and you've obviously envisioned the character reading the story. How's that influenced you when you've been in your role though? Um, well, I think, first of all, I guess you kind of bring yourself to the role a little bit. Like I think physically it kind of like worked for me a little bit. Um, and then sort of Annie has this really amazing emotional life. She's sort of been through so much as have all of them. But I guess I, I kind of, like everyone's been through really intense stuff and I, I just kind of tapped into that little well of pain that everyone has to just kind of really go there for Annie. I mean, obviously, um, Annie was introduced in Catching Fire, but for fans who maybe haven't read the books and are kind of just waiting for Mockingjay as a film, can you tell us a little bit about just where Annie fits into the, the world of the Hunger Games and, and her significance as things go on? Um, well, I think Annie to me is a little bit like sort of the epitome of hope in a little in a way because she's been through hell and back and yet she sort of her love for Finnick and their love for each other is something that um, helps them to survive because the real battle even though she doesn't have any physical scars is a lot of emotional scars so it's that love that kind of um, it's it's all survivalism in some way so she manages to survive her in mind because of Finnick and so that's kind of like a, a running through line for the film I guess all the characters are, are, are surviving so much and it's different things keep them going and for Annie it's love. It's a great relationship between Annie and Finnick can you talk about working with Sam uh, obviously a wonderful actor. <laughs> it's awesome we had so much fun together uh, I think we're very similar uh, we, we like to sort of play around a lot and stuff like that we're both theatre kids so we had a lot of fun um, in times where we weren't doing things. We'd like pretend to like slap each other and all the extras be like, oh my God. So it was really, it was a ball. And he's, he's such a great actor. Like he's got um, such a beautiful emotional life as a performer and he's just a sweetheart. So it was just, it was I had the best time working with him. I mean, this is clearly one of the best casts we've seen, particularly in the summer blockbuster kind of franchise like this for quite some time. Can you talk a little bit about working with the rest of the cast? I mean, particularly people like Jennifer, I mean, a wonderful talent. Well, it's just like, it's incredible. I, I have so much respect for them as, as artists and as people as well. Like, they're just, they're incredible artists. I feel so blessed to be amongst them, but it also they're just the sweetest, most grounded people I've had the, the pleasure of working with. Like, they're just, it's not a bad bone in their body. They're just so fun-loving, and it is like a big family, and I felt like I was just adopted into it pretty quickly, and just watching them work, and then also just getting to hang out with them was just really cool. Do you have any favourite memories from, from set? Any experiences that just make you crack a big smile every time you think about them now? Oh, yeah, plenty. Plenty of the trickery that went on. There was a lot of... It's a very playful set. You kind of got to watch your back a little bit. So there were a few things that went on my first day and I was completely thrown into it. So it was it was very cool. Of course, I mean, we've had our trailers for Mockingjay Part 1. Um, Catching Fire really expanded the world of the Hunger Games and kind of set up this big finale. Um, what can fans expect overall, particularly from this first part of Mockingjay? Um, well, without giving it away, it gets more and more intense. So <laughs> I don't want to say too much, but it it's just, it is a very intense story, but there's moments of just absolute beauty as well. But um, it's it's such a heartbreaking story, but at the same time, it, it it's one of hope as well, I guess, for humanity. So, and it's going to be epic. So I, I can't wait to see how it, how it turns out. I mean, talking about heartbreaking, um, 
obviously Philip Seymour Hoffman, one of the finest actors of his generation. Um, this is going to be one of his final performances. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about what made him such an extraordinary challenge and uh, talent and your memories of, of Philip? Well, I, I felt really, really blessed to have met him a couple of times just before. And he, he was such a, a beautiful, beautiful man. And he was just completely, had some really great conversations with him. And um, I think I have really good memories of talking to him about the theatre. He had such a love for theatre and um, we shared a love of the Sydney Theatre Company back home and things like that. And I mean, he's special. He's absolutely special and the world is not going to be the same without him. He's the way he um, just completely transforms with his characters. And yeah, he's, it was, yeah, there's, no words that you can't replace someone like that. As a fan of the books, um, what have you most enjoyed about bringing your characters to life and what particular scenes are you enjoying bringing to life on screen from the books going forward? Um, oh god, that's like picking between your kids. Like there's so many <laughs> so many good ones, but um I think it's really it's really such a cool thing to play that like unconditional love. Like that's such a nice thing. Like there's no um there's no sort of like maybes in that relationship. It's just pure kind of you would do anything for that person and that's like a really fun thing to play because that's rare in life and it's what everyone kind of hopes for. And then playing these two characters that would die for each other, it's just kind of fun. I guess what you can tell us about is working with your director, um, Francis. I mean, obviously, Francis. Great, great force behind the camera. Oh, my God. He is, it was a dream working with him. He was, he's such a, a collaborative director, and he's also just so sweet and so funny and got involved with all the, the games and the trickery, but he's, he was just, it was effortless working with him. He was just so incredible, and he's got such an amazing vision for these films and um, he's going to do a spectacular job with it. It's going to be super exciting to see what he does with it. You've mentioned this trickery and games thing that's going on behind the scenes. <laughs> so are you guys like, having your own type of um, so like, um, actors, directors, like um, Hunger Games thing going on in the background as well? Yeah, there's, um, I don't know if people know about this, the game thing that goes on, the, this game, does anyone know about that game? Oh, it's like, uh, I don't really know how to ex explain it because I was new to it, where um, you do that and then you have to like shove your finger in the hole and then catch it. And if you don't make it in time, you get a punch. And then if you do make it, you get to punch someone else twice, I think it is. Don't quote me on that. But it, it went on a lot and it was awesome to watch, to be punched and to punch. I wish I, uh, I would have, if I was there longer, I would have become an absolute master at it. But a lot of them really, really were. Jen has it down. <laughs> so she's, she's, she's good at this game then? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure she brought it into the, I don't know if it was Josh or Jen, but one of them did. You're going to be taking it to future sets then now. Definitely. I just got to get better at it. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I mean, you mentioned Jen there. Um, obviously, I mean, she's widely accepted as one of the greatest actresses of a generation. What do you think separates her from kind of, you know, all the other kind of, you know, very promising young stars that we see at the moment? I just think that she has this amazing truthfulness behind her work and also, you know, huge depth and... She's the sort of actress that can go to really deep places really quickly and then turn it off and be completely like joking around and go back to it again. It was kind of really cool to watch. And she's also just a really beautiful person and really funny. But yeah, she she definitely she's definitely has this her craft is brilliant. So she's yeah, she's special. What kind of uh, mental preparations um, do you have to do um, while attacking this role? Um, I think with a role like this, it's kind of that, that sort of willingness to be vulnerable. That's sometimes hard because as people, we spend our whole lives putting walls up. And then with a role like this, you've kind of got to smash it back, back down again. So it's kind of that thing of letting go, I suppose. Um, and then just really getting inside the world which they live, um, so reading the books and just going over that and stuff like that, that was really important to me, to be accurate to it. Yeah. Have, you, have you got a message for fans oh, sorry, before yeah. you leave us? You're amazing, I love you, we'd be nowhere without you, so thank you.